you don't need a degree to master mathematics. It helps to go to college. I'm definitely a person that is pro-college. I went to college. I've taught in college. But it's not necessary. And I think that a lot of people don't realize that. When they look at math, they oftentimes think it's something that they learn only in school. But it's something you can learn on your own. You know, what makes it different than learning, say, programming, right? People, people teach themselves to code all the time. You know, I taught myself to code in C even before going to college. So what makes math any different? I mean, I guess you could say math is harder, maybe. But you don't need to go to school to master it. And there are examples in history of people who didn't go to college and mastered math. Not a lot, but, but there are some. It is, it is possible. You know, I always think about one of the greatest, if not, in my view, the greatest mathematician of all time, perhaps, Ramanujan. He was a poor man from India. I mean, he didn't even have, he, he barely had food. He barely had paper. He had to borrow a book from a friend, a book that, I mean, it's absurd to think that anyone could learn from. It's just a list of, of, of mathematical results. And he was able to learn on his own. He learned so much math that he communicated with Hardy and traveled to England to do research with him. So, I mean, it's possible. Is it the best way? Absolutely not. Math is hard. You want as much help as you can get. You want to use all the resources you can. And you definitely don't want to make it harder on yourself. But you don't need to go to college to master it. It's something you can learn on your own. And I think that this is valuable because let's say that you start learning on your own. You decide that, hey, I'm going to start teaching myself mathematics starting today. You make a commitment with yourself that every day you're going to work on math for maybe, maybe an hour. And let's say you like it and, and you learn some math. Well, what happens then is at some point you think, hey, maybe, maybe I should go to college, right? And then so when you go to college, after learning something on your own, it's like a whole different experience. You, know, you walk into the classroom, the teacher's presenting something, and you're seeing something there, something that, that you taught yourself. And let me tell you, that just makes it so much better. And I speak here from experience because, again, before I went to college, I, I bought this book on C programming, and I read the entire book, and I used that in the internet to learn to code. And that's why I went to college. Because I taught myself something and I, I discovered that people actually go to school to learn this stuff. So it's the same with math. You know, if you teach yourself math, it's, it's a great way to learn. And you never forget the stuff you teach yourself. There's something about self-study that makes it different. I remember little bits of books that I read when I was an undergrad via self-study. I remember, I remember learning number theory on my own while like barely knowing some calculus and struggling with the proofs. And even though I didn't learn that much because I didn't know how to write proofs, that experience is a lot more memorable than a lot of the experiences I actually had in my classrooms, in my classes, because it was self-taught. So when you teach yourself stuff, I don't know, it just sticks better. It really does. It really just sticks a lot better. Self-study is, is where it's at, my friends. Hopefully you can hear me. It's, it's really windy out here. Very, very windy. 
but self-study, there's, there's nothing like it, you know? When you learn something on your own, it just sticks better. Something about reading math books, it just, it just hits. It just really sticks better. So if you're thinking about learning math and you're watching this video, and you're not sure where to start, just get a book, any book. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Most books are about the same. There's easy books and there's hard books. I recommend easy ones. And uh, start doing some math on your own. And you'll see, you'll see it's different. You know, self-study. It's where I was at, my friends. Stay strong.